Hello, welcome to this new series of videos. In this series, we'll talk about enterprise system architectures and we'll focus, in, focus on the functional, logical and physical architecture styles. And we'll also discuss about relatively new enterprise system provisioning approaches. And we'll also discuss what provisioning means. Now, these topics might be a little bit more technical than the ones that we'll see later in this class but you need to be aware of these concepts and notions uh, to give informed decisions uh, about these systems as the managers or engineers or technology professionals of the future now you need to at least uh, you need some level of awareness about uh, these concepts not to feel let's say French uh, when techie people discusses about some options and why things can be or cannot be done okay now then let's start an architecture of an information system or a enterprise information systems can be seen as a high level blueprint of that system that serves to understand its internal structure okay internal structure term is is important here why do we need to know about the internal structure because it aids in the design redesign configuration maintenance and management in general of such system this is not so much different from the technical architecture of a complex building or a subway system for instance okay why do we need to care about the enterprise architecture we need to care about because it provides the foundation both for the functional and for the technical needs of the organization so what is possible and what is relevant becomes much more clear when you have an architecture description it helps management and the implementation team to understand in detail the features and the components of the enterprise system why they are there or why they're not there again the same reason why we need the architecture definition of a, of a building or, or a house um, okay what type of architecture styles can be distinguished first perhaps what is an architecture style a style it describes the overall structure of an architecture at a high level of abstraction kind of a meta architecture Okay, no need to, to define further. Let's see some examples. There are three typical styles that we can distinguish. Column, layered, and component oriented. Now, what you see is a component oriented one right now. In the, uh, sorry, the column style right now. Then in the column style, you will see the structure of the enterprise um, system organized into several functions or sub areas, which are columns in fact, at the same level of abstraction. For instance, one column is the HR module, the other column is the finance module or logistics or productions. Okay, so it's a functional, in fact, decomposition. In the layered style, that's a little bit different. The functionality, the system functionality, is structured into several layers of abstraction, um, which we also call tires. And in, in this course, we'll mainly discuss about four tire sometimes also called three tire architecture we'll uh, see about that in a later video in the component oriented style the functionality is distributed to coherent um, components uh, that have explicit interfaces service oriented architecture or, or object oriented architecture are, are let's say typical representative uh, approaches of, of this type and we'll not go into the details oh sorry that this one component oriented style and we'll not go into details of this third type um, component oriented one but focus our attention uh, mainly on the first column and the layer style okay let's start with um, uh, let me let me in fact describe the uh, uh, what we're going to see in the remaining modules in the second module of this course we'll talk about the functional architecture of the enterprise systems the column style i mean um, we'll um, look into the modules functional modules of commonly used enterprise systems like erp crm customer relationship management or supply chain management systems 
And in the third mod module, we'll look into the layered architecture style and discuss about the four tier uh, enterprise system architecture. In the fourth module, we'll talk about the physical architecture. And in doing so, we'll see how different approaches, physical architecture approaches have changed, have evolved uh, over time with the advances in the technology. In the fifth and the final module, we'll see and compare approaches that are used by enterprise system um, vendors mainly in providing their systems for use by other companies. We will look into the let's say advanced pros and cons of, of on-demand provisioning which is relatively new um, style or approach that makes use of uh, cloud technology. Uh, but for now, au revoir.